Hey guys, uh, my pilot light went out about six times in the last two weeks. I've already ordered the uh, thermocouple, which is the one I suspect that it's going wrong. But I wanna, it's, but it's gonna take a, a week or two to get here. So I'm gonna take a look at the uh, uh, thermocouple and see if I can actually clean it. So first thing I'm gonna do is turn off the gas and come over here, turn this, you have to push down actually. That's the off position. And I'm gonna just put it on a pilot setting. I just took off this uh, cover here. First, I'm gonna remove a couple of uh, uh, quarter inch bolts. Okay, next, look under here. There's one, two, three bolts we have to loosen. So I started with this one but this thing was in the way, okay? So there was no way to get a, a wrench in there. So what I did was squeeze the two tabs here and pushed it up and out of the way. And that gave me room. It gave me room to loosen this and that was a 7 16th. I loosen this one. Next, I loosen this one. This was 3 8. I just haven't pulled it out all the way yet because I want to get the uh, this middle one uh, loosened. Okay, so you can see there's uh, about a half inch after the th th threads. So that's how much you have to kind of pull down on it to get this out. Okay, and this one also another half inch or so on this side so you have to kind of pull down on it do it gently try not to bend the uh, the pipes and this one has almost an inch uh, that I had to pull down and they came out also I'm going to unplug these two wires if you notice this is the skinny one and this is twice as thicker So this was in there pretty tight. So I had to put the camera down and pull it out with the uh, plier. Okay, so that wasn't so bad. All I had to do was uh, go here and pry this up. And as soon as I did that, the whole thing came out, okay? Now these two wires are detached. out uh, yeah that looks pretty beat up this hot water heater is seven years old and in this house it's been lasting about 10 years so what I'm trying to do is uh, trying to salvage this for another three more years with minimal investment and I know in about three years I'm gonna have to replace the whole thing so um, I'm gonna see if I can just uh, clean this and let me see let's take a look at the, uh, the thermal couple yeah there's a lot of build up so what I'm gonna do is uh, take it outside and and clean it's very hot up here in the attic Okay, it's much better than hot attic. So I'm out here in my uh, favorite backyard and my favorite Costco fruit box uh, workbench. So I got the setting at millivolt. 
I got the positive lead uh, connected to the outer uh, part, you know, like this part here. And I'm gonna connect the negative uh, to the inner pipe, like right now. Okay, it's reading one because I was just uh, testing this before recording. So watch this when I apply the heat. See the millivolt going up. So the thermocouple okay. seems to be okay. Just the sensor is dirty and needs cleaning. Um, I'm gonna clean this uh, thermocouple uh, here. In fact, I'm gonna clean everything that I can and see how that goes. Okay, I'm gonna use a wire brush and just clean as much as I can. Okay, so the main objective was to use the steel wool and clean the uh, thermocouple sensor here. In fact, I'll just clean everything here. The, I think this is the igniter. Uh, this is probably where the pilot light gas comes up. Also clean the viewport so I can see better. That was always dirty. Okay, so I cleaned it as much as I can, and it's it's fairly clean. Clean this thermal pilot, but I also cleaned the. Uh, the igniter and the, uh, the pilot burner. So let's put it back. Actually, let's take a look at inside. It looks a little bit dirty. So I'm gonna scrape and clean, clean the inside a little bit as well. I'm gonna try to clean the inside a little bit. That's tight enough. All right, let's get the. Whew. Nope. <laughs> All right, let's uh, let's switch over to this one. Okay, that's better. That's how. That's how things should be. Let me see. This is the three eighths. Okay. All right, back to you, buddy. All right, just go in there, a couple threads, and then, uh, okay. Guys, I think it's worth uh, worth paying somebody 100 bucks to come do these things. Uh, if you live in Houston, in a hot attic like I am, uh, that's a lot of suffering. Okay, all right, guys.
everything's put back together. Uh, this one gave me a little bit of trouble to find the right uh, hole. But remember, the skinny wire goes here, thick wire goes there. The igniter is put back in place. Basically, you got two hooks in the back, you hook it, and then you come around and hook the front. So everything's all set up. Uh, I got this at pilot position. I'm gonna put this at pilot position. And I'm gonna turn on the gas. And I'm gonna start the uh, pilot light. Okay, here we go. Uh, yeah, look through the hole to see the pilot light. Pull down the hold down the gas tap. Okay, pilot light came on. I'm gonna hold down the control knob. Thirty one minute. Okay, it's been about a minute. Turn the gas on. Okay. So far it looks good, but we'll have to wait and see if the uh, pilot light will stay on. Also, one other thing I wanna mention here is, uh, actually everything was smooth. The only trouble I had was finding the, uh, the right screw hole location uh, for this. So I noticed if you look here, looks like the uh, previous plumber uh, did a marking as to where the center is. Uh, in addition to that, I will probably draw a line uh, across the top here uh, so that you have both the vertical and horizontal line marking. That will help you to find uh, the two screw holes on the side. show you how to find the, the, the manual and the, the parts numbers for your uh, select state state select hot water heater so what I did was um, I checked my uh, the model number and it and it was GS 650 YBRT 200 okay so then I went out and looked for the manual and I found it and I actually downloaded the uh, PDF version of it here okay and but this one lists out all the parts but doesn't really give you the part number then I googled for the uh, the parts manual and I found it and this one had here GS 650 YBRT 200 okay so then I went here GS 650 YBRT and look for the thermal couple and I can see the thermal couple button uh, mod, uh, part number is this in fact they're all same okay so then I realized uh, can more I find it a little bit easier uh, the term state it's too generic, uh, so I find that it was easier to look for it as a Kenmore. Uh, looks like a lot of these parts are OEM to different uh, brand names. So when I did that, as you can see, uh, you find different prices and uh, from different uh, stores. But what's interesting is even from Sears, they can have different price. So. I try to shop from Amazon as much as I can, mainly because they're uh, easy of return policy, right? No questions asked and you can do that easily. Um, but here it's $28, okay? So in here, uh, it was listed as $18.91 and free shipping. Uh, this one, shows because of the shipping now it becomes 26 bucks okay so same one's a Sears parts direct and the other one's just Sears you see this one is 1891 now 
when I bought it from Google Shopping directly, uh, it was just $14.99 plus tax, so it ended up being $16.23. So, and they give you basically a uh, one year uh, return. So this is where I ordered from. Yes, you're not gonna get it overnight. Uh, if you need it overnight, the most reliable way is probably the Amazon. Okay, so I thought I'd just share that with you guys. And I'm gonna add the link to the, the water heater manual as well as the, uh, the parts number manual uh, in the uh, descriptions below the, uh, the video. Thanks for watching, I hope this helped. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time.